after being on the run for nearly a month since police stormed his heavily barricaded enclave of Tivoli Gardens, Christopher Dudderskoke is now in police custody. Jamaica's most wanted fugitive was held along the Mandela Highway this afternoon. Our news team captured exclusive footage in Spanish towns in Catherine as the police transported the man called the president to a waiting helicopter. Delona Fleming witnessed the unfolding drama. All entrances and exits to the Spanish town police station were closed by the security forces. Residents were seen running frantically after hearing news that Coke had been held by the police. The situation grew tense as a JDF helicopter was seen landing at the prison oval ball field across from the Spanish town police station. Soldiers were seen guarding the area as word circulated that Coke was being held at the police station. Shortly afterwards, three vehicles including a blue high ace minibus carried Mr. Coke from the police station to the football field. At least seven soldiers formed a human shield around Mr. Coke and escorted him to the helicopter. He was then whisked away in what some have described as a strategic police operation. It included members of the Spanish Town Criminal Investigative Branch, the Radio Car Patrol Unit, and the Special Operations Team from the St. Catherine South Division. A police source informed us that Coke had completely shaved his head, and when they intercepted the car, he appeared fearful at first, but he later appeared to trust the police and even commented on their professionalism. Delona Fleming, CVM News. Now, meanwhile, the police sought to provide details on Mr. Koch's capture at a hastily called press conference this evening. They weren't able to provide details on many of the burning questions needing answers, though. Dwayne Burbick was at the police commissioner's office and now joins us on set. Dwayne? Thank you, Janella. Thank you, Curly. No, it was a brief press conference, hastily called, as we mentioned, from what Jamaicans had been hearing all afternoon. Fugitive Christopher Dodders Koch is now in police custody by a party of policemen to mine a big checkpoint along the Mandela Highway and uh, they were acting on intelligence. Um, Coke is being held now in a secure facility. And there was very little else that the top cop would tell us. He didn't tell us whether or not other persons were captured along with Mr. Coke and he definitely did not say where Mr. Coke was being held. Owen Ellington did say, though, that legal proceedings will begin immediately and steps are being made to have Coke before the courts in a matter of days. Once we are able to settle on the issue of legal representation and to reach an agreement with the Director of Public Prosecutions on where the hearings will be held, a court date will be set, and we anticipate that we can achieve that within 48 hours. In the meantime, the police dismissed any suggestion that there was a plan within the ranks of the constabulary force for Mr. Cook to be handed in. Mr. Ellington asserted that it was the police's own intelligence that led to Christopher Cook's capture. Ask each individual if they were party to any discussion or agreement for the bypassing of the legal processes for Cook to be turned over to U.S. Marshals. Each officer responded in the negative. I and the police say they have an interest in the Reverend Al Miller who was with Coke at the time of his capture. The question was asked though, if Reverend Miller was with Coke at the time of his arrest, why was he allowed to leave the scene? Here's Mr. Ellington's response. Policemen on the ground at the time um, allowed him to go. I'm in investigating the reason why that was done. Um, however, from our standpoint, we believe that he needs to come in and speak with us because there are some questions that he needs to answer. Now, Mr. Ellington said that today's activities are now the subject of a police investigation at the highest level. Now, many persons wanted to know whether or not the $5 million reward will be issued. That, the Commissioner says, will form part of the intense investigation, along with a determination as to whether or not Mr. Polk will be charged locally in connection with damage to police stations and other state property during the May 24 operation. And as soon as those investigations have been completed, Mr. Ellington said we will, prov we will be provided with an update. Now, members of the police force have also been placed on high alert as the police say they are anticipating some amount of reprisal to Mr. Polk's capture. Curlin, Janela.